To find the Apps section, go on to the left-hand side of your screen where you have the Admin panel, and go down all the way to the bottom just above Settings and click on where it says Apps. Now once you click on Apps, you'll be directed over to the Apps section of Shopify, and you'll see that if you look at the top, we don't have any apps that are installed currently. Well, that's going to change. But for the time being, let's scroll down and see what featured apps are available right now. So to start with, Shopify shows you some popular marketing apps like ShopPad, Plugin SEO, Better Coupon Box, and MailChimp for Shopify. And then they go down and they show you some sales apps, the Now in Store Automatic Catalog Builder, the Shopify Product Reviews, and the Abandoned App by Moonmail, as well as the Taking Reviews Yachtpo Product Reviews app. And you'll notice that most of these, if not all, are free. And you can see that right over here. It's published just underneath the name. And this one goes from free to $99 a month. So many of these apps, like I had mentioned before, are free. Some of them are paid for, however. But it's really great that you can go through all of them and see if any of them fit your needs. The way to actually go ahead and see all of the apps that are available on Shopify, of which there are many, go ahead and click on the Visit the App Store at the top. Now, in this new page that's opened up, we can see all of the apps that are available today. So instead of just looking at marketing and sales, as we scroll down here on the actual app store, we can also see other types of apps that apply to different areas of your business, like social media and shipping, inventory, accounting, customer service, and so on. So you can really see here that Shopify has made it so that you can get apps that are very useful to help run a business to sort through some of these apps by selecting specific categories. You can do that very easily by going up to the top of the page and seeing over here on this selection where it says category, just hover over that and then all of these options will pop down so that you can click directly into the category that makes sense for you. You can also filter by price by going to the right of the category and then selecting either free or all. And then you can sort by popularity or by which one's newest. And then lastly, you can sort by collection, which is very useful because if you're a brand new shop, you might want to only search for things that will help you to launch your store. But if you're a very big business, you might want to look at things that will help you to manage your big business. Or over here, they call it your enterprise. So get familiar with the App Store because there are so many different wonderful apps that really can serve your business in a way to make you more successful and sell more shirts or any product that it is that you're selling off of Shopify. With all that said, this is finished, so we're going to go on to the next lesson and I'll see you there.